For every paid program out there, whether we're talking about an office suite or internet security, there is usually a free or open source version that's just as good. The one exception to that rule has been editing PDFs. I have not been able to find a true replacement for Adobe until now. Let's get into it. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of free PDF editor programs out there. The problem is I've never found one program that includes all of the features that I use. Some of them are web-based, and I don't know about you, but I don't want to upload my sensitive documents to some web server somewhere. There are some desktop applications, however, they usually lack some of the features. And with a lot of these free programs, they either include a watermark, or there are time constraints. You can only upload one document per hour. So I found one that's a desktop application that does everything that I do in Adobe, whether that is editing PDFs, converting from PDFs, converting to PDFs, digitally signing documents. This program that I found does all of that. So I'm gonna show you a short video on the program that we're talking about today. Then I'm gonna show you how to download it and we'll run through a few of the features. But first, if you find this video helpful, do me a favor and please like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel doesn't cost you anything, but what it does for me is it helps me with that YouTube algorithm to get my video out to more people and I can continue to create these weekly videos. Okay, so let's jump into that quick intro. The program that we're talking about today is PDF Gear. PDF Gear is a versatile tool that allows you to edit, convert, and organize your PDFs. Whether you need to fix a typo, convert a PDF to a different format, or add annotations and highlights, PDF Gear has you covered. Key features include edit text, images, and shapes in your PDFs. Convert between PDF, Word, text files, JPG images, Excel, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Organize, insert, delete, rearrange, and rotate PDF pages. Sign and fill out PDF forms securely and free. PDF Gear is the first AI-powered PDF software. PDF Gear makes PDF smarter using cutting-edge AI technology to improve your working efficiency. PDF Gear is available on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Okay, let's go download PDF Gear real quick. We'll set it up and then we'll run through some of the features. Let's go. All right, let's jump over here to Google and we're gonna type in PDF gear. Okay, it's the first one here that comes up. All right. Another thing that I like about PDF gear, you don't have to navigate around to try to find the actual free version. It is right here. We're gonna click free download. Up here in the right hand corner, I can see that my download has complete, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, you're going to have a user account control screen that pops up and just click yes. Okay, so now my installation has started. I'm going to keep English as the language. Okay, welcome to the PDF gear setup wizard. I'm going to click next. I'm going to accept the agreement. I'm going to let it install here under program files. I'm not going to change that. It's going to create a folder. This is just telling me that setup will create a program shortcut and that's fine. Okay, now this is something that I'm not going to allow and that's create a quick launch shortcut. I'm going to let it put an icon on my desktop, but I do not need it to create a quick launch shortcut. Okay, I'm going to click install. It's extracting all the files. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and let it launch PDF gear. I'm going to click finish. And here's our program. So 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the different things that we can do here. So this is the hot tool. So these are the most commonly used tasks. You can convert a PDF to a Word document. You can convert a PDF to a PMG, PNG, which is an image file. You can compress the PDF. You can merge PDFs. If you've ever had multiple PDF documents that you needed to combine into one PDF, that's very useful. Okay, now you can also take a Word document and convert to PDF, and this is super useful. I create a lot of stuff in Word and then convert it over to PDF format. You can take an image file, convert it to a PDF. You can fill out forms, and you can split PDFs. Sometimes I've got large PDF documents that may have 35 pages in there, but I only need five of those isolated, so you can split those out and create a separate PDF. Okay, so on the next screen, this is convert from PDF. So these are all of the different documents that you can convert from the PDF to a different program, like to Word, to Excel, to PowerPoint. There's several different options in here to convert from. The next page is convert to a PDF. So if we've got a Word document or an Excel document or a PowerPoint document that we need to convert to a PDF, that's on this screen here merge and split and this is where we can either merge PDFs together or we can split a PDF okay so now let's open up a PDF file and that will show us all of the tools and the available functionality so I'm going to click open file now I have a random PDF here that I downloaded for a video capture device from Amazon so we're going to open this up Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let it set PDF gear as my default program for PDF files. You don't have to do that. Okay, so now if we take a look up here at the top, this is everything that we can do. So let's see, auto scroll, slideshow, screenshot, OCR. Let me talk for a minute about OCR because that's very important. If you've ever received a PDF um, through email or anything to that effect and you it was essentially an image file but it has text right so you can't highlight it you can't interact with the text because it's technically a an image but what OCR does is it converts that image file into editable text so that is a super helpful feature okay let's just go up here to edit okay and under edit the first thing I want to try is edit a PDF a lot of programs can't just edit the PDF. So we're gonna try that here. So I'm gonna click right here on edit text. And then look at this here. Let's just try removing this first line here. And it's gone. Let's put it back. I can add in some text. So you can truly edit a PDF. Okay, let's jump back out of edit. Let's see, we've got add text, add image, watermarks. You can add or remove watermarks, page numbers, header and footer, stamp, signature. You can add a signature. Let's go over here to forms. You can add text, add image. Here's the signature block, so you can have these digitally signed and send them out to other people if you've got some contract or anything else that requires signatures. If I flip here to the pages, it breaks down each individual page for me, in which I can interact with. This is where I can split these out into separate PDFs. I can remove pages. I can rearrange pages in different orders. There is all kind of stuff that you can do here with this. Jump back over here to tools. Okay, so if we look over here to the right, this is that AI assistant functionality that we talked about. And this uses Copilot. Let's look at some examples here of what we can ask the AI to do. We can have it summarize this PDF. We can have it display this PDF in the slide mode. We can have it password protected. We can tell it to convert the PDF into another format. We can have it compress the PDF. There's all kind of different things that we can actually ask the chat AI to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select one of these options. Let's convert this PDF to a Word document, but let's let Copilot do it. 
and it's just confirming that I want to convert this PDF to Word format. Would you like to convert the PDF to Word? Yes. All right. And it's just telling me how many pages are in the range, where it's going to the output file, and then the format that it's saving in, which is a Word document. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and there you have it. That quick, we have a Word document. Okay. And just like that, we have a PDF file that's converted to Word. So now all of, we can do all of the things in Word that we would normally do. So we can edit the text here. We can remove and add images. Anything that you could do in a word processing program, you could do here. Now, I'm not actually using Microsoft Word. I'm trying out a free alternative to Microsoft Word, and there will be a video coming later for that. Okay, and there's a lot of other things that we can do here with the program, but you get the idea. It does everything that the Adobe equivalent will do and it's free. And there you go. A PDF editor that's truly free with all of the bells and whistles. Do me a favor, like and subscribe this video, and go ahead and check out my last video on the best free antivirus software. And until next time.